Hey, welcome back to Just the Facts. Um, this time we're going to talk a little bit more about the Perdido Key Master Plan. One of the interesting things that people think is that, well, if it's a Perdido Key Master Plan, that's what the county's going to do, right? That's not how this works. This is, we are, I promised you when I came in as your county commissioner, I was not going to be the developer in chief of this county. Um, the purpose of a master plan is to set in place an overlay, a set of instructions, a set of limitations and capabilities so that the private sector, and I know that's a radical idea in this county, but the private sector can develop Perdido Key in such a way that does not encroach upon, does not, that does not violate the rights and the benefits that we as citizens have. So the Perdido Key Master Plan is going to take about 25 years to do a full implementation, and there's a reason for that. The Habitat Conservation Plan, federally imposed by a judge, takes about 25 years to develop out because Perdido Key Beach Mouse Habitat is given out in five-year increments. So some people will tell you, well, I don't see anything happening out there. The Habitat Conservation Plan is designed to slow down the development. What does that mean for us? It means that it's going to take 25 years to finish out the development of that island, and that means that we need to focus on quality of development, not quantity. This isn't a get-rich-quick scheme kind of place. This is a kind of place with Perdido Key where you invest long-term, invest for your children, not for the quick buck.